All right, I'm here with Megan at the University of Tennessee, and she's going to talk to us a little bit about their design. What's the name of your project this year? Our project is called Living Light. Okay. And can you tell us a little bit about how it's different? How, how did you go about designing it? What's, what's your approach? Well, we wanted to look at the history of energy efficient design in Tennessee, and there actually is a very long history going all the way back to the Cherokee Indians that acknowledged the dual climate and dealt with it with a separate summer house and a separate winter house. Okay. Um, we're actually doing a modern interpretation of the cantilever barn, which is a very iconic image of eastern Tennessee. So the way we interpreted that is that we have two solid cores on either end of our building, and those house the mechanical space and the bathroom, as well as the kitchen cabinetry and a Murphy bed. Okay. That allows for a flexible open living space in the center that can be adapted throughout the day to your different uses. We also interpreted the cantilever aspect of the cantilever bar, w barn with our PV panels. Okay. These are actually a cylindrical PV panel, so they have a PV film that's wrapped inside a glass tube. That allows us to capture the sunlight at 360 degrees. So no matter where the sun is, we're still going to get the optimal sun angle. So you're not limited by the slope of the roof because you actually have the cylindrical approach. Yes. You can get sun from both sides. Exactly. Okay. And so that allows us to have the flat array. Now it is it is definitely flat, or does it have any slight pitch to it? The array itself is flat. The okay. roof underneath does have a slight slope in order to gather the rainwater. Okay. The cylindrical panels also act as a shading trellis that extends over the windows. We saw this as a way to really celebrate the PV panels. So rather than just trying to hide them on the roof, we're showcasing them, and we think that it'll really be a beautiful element as part of our design. Now right here, are we looking at the what the PV panels will be, or is this some sort of a, a trellis system over PV panels? These are the PV panels okay. themselves, so they will act as the trellis system. The PV panels themselves won't be wood. That's just how we're representing right. them in the model. Now, what's the overall square footage of this house? Um, to the outside walls, we're at 750 square feet. Okay. Our house is a little smaller because we are designing it to transport as one unit. Oh, okay. It's built with a steel frame so that r directly to that steel frame, we can attach wheels and a gooseneck. And then the house itself becomes the trailer when we drive it down the highway to the competition site. And where, after the competition, is the house going to go? We're actually we're calling it the Tennessee Tour. We're going to stop in several cities throughout Tennessee and continue to use it as an educational center. Oh, great. Thanks a lot. Good luck to your project. Thank you very much.